Well, hello there, Eric Griffith here, AKA Mr. Griftastic. And today I wanna to talk to you about three of my favorite new features for BenQ's interactive flat panel displays that just dropped recently, less than a week ago. And the first one, as I walk over to my board here, is called Split View. So let me jump over to my BenQ board here. And once I'm logged into the board, I just happen to be logged in as the administrator right here is the split view feature. So this is after the latest update for the O3 models. I can hit this button right over here on my navigation menu on the side and it says split. So as soon as I hit that up behind me pops a menu and that's going to allow me to take and grab one app and throw it on one side and then grab another app like easy right and throw it on the other side. I could also grab a file or a source, whatever I wanted to do. In this case, I just happen to have a web page up and open. And so this allows me to annotate on one side of the screen and have the internet up. I can play videos, I can do different things. One of my favorite things to do while in split view is the ability to copy images from the internet over to my EasyWrite application. So in order to do this, I can just press and hold and up pops a menu that says share image. It has a bunch of different options but the one that you want is share. It then says, where do you want to share it to? I just press the easy right button right here. And the second I press it, that image magically appears over there. So cool, amazing. I love that feature. And the fact that they designed it uh, in addition to the board and every other piece of uh, application or software on there to make that work so seamlessly is awesome. So kudos to the folks at BenQ for fixing that or creating that feature. I really like it. My second favorite feature is within EasyWrite as well, and it's how I can grab an instant camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and close my web page on the side and we'll open this up. And I'm gonna open a new page within EasyWrite. And now down here at the bottom in the insert a picture or media button right here, as soon as I have that, I have two, oh, three additional buttons. One is the camera or webcam view, and then the other is a link and a YouTube video. Both of those are awesome as well, but I really like this camera because it gave me an excuse to break out my IPvo document camera, right? So I love this thing, I've had it forever, and I click this once and I have this document camera plugged in to the very front of the board right here. And I have the document camera off on my desk or you, if you were a teacher, you could use this as a podium, whatever you want. So I've got a piece of paper and I wrote sample math stuff right there. So I can take this image, I can write, I can annotate, I could also grab a video, or I'm sorry, a uh, worksheet or something like that, and I could snap a picture of it from my document camera and drop it here. It's super simple to do once this opens up and detects your webcam, all you have to do is press this iris button down here and then it inserts an image right behind it. I can push the X and close it. I also, once this image is searched, or I'm sorry, inserted, I have the ability to crop it or lock it, right? So if you're working with students and they come up and they tend to move the images around on the board, BenQ made a button that allows you to lock it. And so just pressing that lock makes it so you cannot move the image around giving you the ability to annotate on the screen. So if I grab my BenQ pencil and tap another color, I can then annotate right over top of my worksheet or anything that I've taken a picture from, from my document camera plugged in right on the front. So again, second favorite feature and an awesome addition and update to Easy Write. Third favorite feature, jumping over to a new page, is templates. Now they've always had the ability to insert templates, but they moved them to a different location and they gave us a dozen more templates to play with. So let's take a look at that by pushing this button right down here. And this is gonna give us the option to add post-it notes, um, three-dimensional images, uh, as well as two-dimensional images, and then templates. So if I tap this button, you'll notice right up here at the top, this is where we can add these templates. And some of these have been here before, and uh, with the sports and different things, but they added a bunch of new templates. So I can now have my days of the week template. If I needed to graph or grid out my week, I could do that too and plan, have a nice big planning session up there. So the ability to grab a template is super easy and add it to your list of templates. For example, my wife who is a science teacher could create a new template and grab it off of the internet, right? Grab any image she wanted off of the internet. 
So I already took a thumb drive. I put an image of an animal cell on there. And so what I want to do is grab my templates button right there and go to the templates list again. And this top left corner, what you can do is tap this button right here and it'll take you to your thumb drive or your hard drive or your Google Drive, whatever apps uh, or um, whatever third party services you've linked to the BenQ, like Dropbox, OneDrive, Google Drive, uh, anything else like that that you've linked to. And then you can grab that image, right? So then that image becomes a template that you can insert. So all you have to do is tap that once. And what's different from inserting an image from your document camera is automatically this image is not something that you can uh, move around. Right now I'm moving the page around, but I can't, uh, I cannot grab the image or do anything like that. So this is actually part of the page. So I can zoom into the page. It's not something a kid can accidentally um, delete the image or anything like that. It's part of the background, okay? So here you could actually go ahead, pinch and zoom in and then label uh, the animal cells. So this of course would be the uh, GUI center, right? Okay, if I could spell correctly, that's what that would look like. But anyway, kind of a neat feature that you have the ability to create your own templates built right in. You just gotta search for those images off the internet. So that's why I absolutely love these new features that BenQ came up with for their EasyWrite application and their new BenQ interactive boards. So if you found those interesting, give me a thumbs up and possibly a subscribe. And I hope that you have a griptastic day. Thanks.